So recently, Alpha Investment made two videos. Dear Rudy, why are you scamming everyone? And this is his title, not mine, but I love being able to repeat the title in the, for SEO purposes. In Alpha Investments, my response in uh, frets. So that was according to a collection. So let me tell you a story and maybe it's right, maybe it's wrong. So Dark Tower Games is going out of business. Their owner wants to sell. There are employees who want to take over the game store because they don't want to lose their jobs. I don't know if they are well capital. But instead of selling the inventory to the people who would most value the inventory and therefore pay the most for the inventory, the owner said, I hate these people. I hate my employees. I'm going to go sell to Rudy Chan. So instead of selling on eBay, remember, this is a game store owner. This is somebody who should be able to sell on eBay, should be able to sell on TCG Player. This isn't an average person. It's very difficult to sell when you don't have an eBay account with reviews on it. It's very difficult to sell when you don't have a TCG player account with reviews on it. I believe this store has both. It also has Google business reviews. It's a real store. It's been in business for some time, according to Reddit. So instead of selling the inventory to the people who can maximize the value of the inventory, and then therefore pay you the most, or even uh, maybe a consignment offer where everyone you know, there's zero risk to the uh, new employees at the time who are owning the new, let's call it the new owner at the time. You decided to contact Alpha Investments. You set the cards with a range of prices according to you, which Alpha Investments confirmed. So you didn't even get a price. You sold during the time when Alpha Investments is making all these videos about how Magic 30th is killing Magic and Magic is dying. That's when you decided it was the best time to sell your cards at the bottom. So you're a game store owner with no idea of how to run a game store, no idea how to sell your cards. I mean, how difficult is it to sell heavy play dual lands? It is not difficult. Those sell to EDH players like this. But instead, you contact Alpha Investments, you sell your, you ship your collection to them. By the time they get to Alpha Investment, Alpha Investment, man, by this time I already made five more videos about how Magic the Gathering is dying. Man, I, I de decreased the price of your cards and no longer can I give you a price within the range we agreed upon. I'm going to lowball you by averaging the buy list. And I've already gone many, many videos, many details of why that doesn't make any sense. When somebody goes to sell a card, they're not s selling to the average of the buy list, guys. They're selling to the highest buy list price. And typically speaking, between Cool Stuff Inc., ABU Games, Card Kingdom, Channel Fireball, and Star City Games, one of them is going to overvalue the card that you're trying to sell because they might need the, the card for their own inventory. So what I'm saying is the, it is a low ball. And the, the, the reason that it is a low ball is that because in the average of the buy list, when in fact you don't need to do that, you as a seller can sell to the highest buy list, not the average. And Rudy Chan does some really mental gymnastics when he says, oh, hey guys, I sold you a box for 100. Look, market price is 110, but then you go on TCG Player and there's a dude selling for 80 and he's got 500 boxes left. He's got 50,000 five-star reviews. TCG Direct seller. Nah, man, the box isn't 110 just because the market price says the box is gonna be 80 because I'm gonna, if I were to go out to buy the box, I wouldn't buy it for market price or TCG mids or you know for a new card, right? If all conditions are near mint. Well, I'll buy it from the lowest guy because the lowest guy actually has the best reviews because he does the most volume. So anyway, that's not neither here nor there, but um, then, okay, so the guy's like, I, I don't really know what Rudy's gonna offer me. Let me send the card to Rudy. Rudy will give me an offer. Rudy gave him an offer. Today, three months later, he felt feel after watching that video, and that's what caused it. Let me let me make sure that you understand. It's the public humil humiliation, and maybe you don't know because nobody's mentioned that it's you and you didn't write a love letter to Rudy for, for him to read. But you know, and you're embarrassed that you sold this collection that's now worth forty five thousand dollars for thirty thousand during the low lows. At least forty five thousand is what I calculated right now. I would have paid 42 and a half during that time. And I would probably pay 47 and a half today for that same collection. If Rudy wanted to sell me that same collection, I have no problem paying him 45. I wouldn't 
you know, I probably wouldn't give him 47 and a half. I would give anyone else 47 and a half. But, you know, I think Rudy's uh, okay. I think his margins are okay on this collection. In a very easy 50% flip if he wants it. It's an offer. Um, now he feels embarrassed. He feels sad. He feels ashamed because Rudy is railing on him. So then he writes a comment. Then Rudy sends the hate mob after him. And then he's got to write another comment on the next video saying, the hate mob came after me. You know, I mean, ugh. what do you think? What do you guys think? Is it worth selling cars to Rudy and being so embarrassed, so humiliated by the offer, even though no one knows it's you, that you didn't have to leave a comment? And then Rudy makes a response video sending the hate mob after you. Oof. At the end of the day, what you could have done and what you should have done is say, Rudy, send me back my cards. You know, I. The offer changed. You changed it on middle transit. I'm getting a lower price than I thought I would get even at the lower end. I was hoping for the higher end. I was at the very least going to get the lower end I expected. I didn't get any end. I got my butt end. And yeah, give me my cards back. Rudy's a savage, my dude. Averaging the buy list. I've, I've never heard of that. I've never heard of averaging the buy list. Because like, why would anyone use the average of a buy list when they can use it? Why would any seller use the average of a buy list when they can use a high of the buy list? Why? Like they're just giving you free money. They're literally just giving you free money. So anyway, my point is very simple. This is a knowledgeable person. They fell for a trap. Then they got angry that they fell for the trap. I mean, the collection today is 45, $50,000 at least. I think the collection is a $45,000 buy list collection. If you send it to the Car Kingdom today, probably it would give you at least 40,000. I would have offered 42 uh, and a half at three months ago. I don't think the prices were going all as crazy as Rudy said. Maybe some buy lists were going crazy and that's how he averaged it, right? So if Car Kingdom says, hey, we'll, or Car Kingdom's like, yeah, we don't care. But if ABU came and said, no, nah, we're going to drop our buy list to like uh, 10%. Well, then when you average them out, then the, the yeah, then it looks terrible. But like when I'm selling my cards, I'm not selling for the average of the buy list. I'm selling at the high end of the buyers. So anyway, I'm very jealous of Rudy and how he does business. The fact that he has 40 different collections come in, basically two to three collections a week, and people are paying a average buy list from whatever stores Rudy chooses to pick at the time is insanity to me. That's that's amazing. That That's like if we picked the lowest buy list. I mean, there's no difference, right? It's really the same concept. Like, hey man, there's, you know, uh, you, you want to sell me your underground C? Card Kingdom has it for 800. Um, this store has it for 600. Uh, cool Stuff Inks has it for 100 as like just whatever, right? They don't really want it. Let me sell it to you. Okay, but let me let me buy from you for one hundred. Like, oh well, I can sell from Car Kingdom for eight hundred. No, no, no. Let me buy. Fine, fine, fine. I'll average. I'll average the buy list. So clever. I, I mean, if I tried that, I think people would be mad. But I don't know, man. I don't have uh, angry hate mob to send it to you your way.